Hello world. Welcome to Edupedia world. In our this video, we will study about the topic named word processing. So first of all, let's have a look at its definition. So writing, editing and production of documents as letters, reports as well as books through the use of a computer program or a complete computer system is simply known as word processing. It is especially designed to facilitate rapid and efficient manipulation of text whereas Origin of word processing is from 1970 to 1975 where the personal computers are used for it. Using a computer to create, edit and print documents simply is word processing and all, all of all the computer applications it is the most common. Okay. Now comes multimedia files such as digital imagery and video have become increasingly popular in today's business world. But still, the written word remains as important as ever or you can say like working with text is essential for each and every task in the office or as well as for any task. Just think about the nature of the documents being produced and circulated within any organization like some examples of the most common tasks are a marketing plan to promote a new project, a memo from senior management regarding corporate strategy, a new benefits policy developed by human resource all these documents are most common and for them the written test has to be there so you can't escape from it and mostly these documents are produced using word processing softwares now let's have a look at the definition of word processing software it is used to manipulate a text document such as a resume or a report. You typically enter text by typing and the software provides tools for copying, deleting and various types of formatting. Thus enhancing your typing, enhancing your work to a more readable form. Text editors should not be confused with word processing software while they do also allow you to create, edit and save text documents. They only work with the plain text whereas text editors don't use any formatting such as underline text or different fonts are not available within them. They are used to work with files in plain text format such as source code of computer programs or configuration files of an operating system can be covered or they can be worked using a text editor whereas the Microsoft word processing software do not support such configuration files. Now let's have a look at some of the features of standard word processors. Insert text allows you to insert text anywhere in the document. Delete text allows you to erase characters, words, lines or passages easily as you can cross them out on paper. Cut and paste allows you to remove cut a section of text from one place in a document and insert or paste it somewhere else. Then comes the copy command which allows you to duplicate a section of text. Then comes page size and margins which allows you to define various page sizes and margins and the word processor will automatically readjust the text so that it fits to your desired or given page sizes. Then comes search and replace feature which allows you to direct the word processor to search for a particular word or phrase. You can also direct it to replace one group of characters with another 
everywhere that the first group appears. Then comes word wrap. The word processor automatically moves to the next line. When you have filled one line with text and it will readjust text if you change the margins. Print allows you to send a document to a printer to get hard copy. Then comes file management. Many word processors contain file management capabilities that allow you to create, delete, move and search for the files. Then comes font specifications which allows you to change fonts within a document. For example, you can specify bold, italics and underlining. Most word processors also let you change the font size and even type face. Then comes footnotes and cross references. They automate the numbering and placement of footnotes and enables you to easily cross reference other sections of the document. Then comes the graphics which allows you to embed illustrations and graphs into a document. Some word processors even let you create the illustrations within the word processor. Others let you insert an illustration produced by some different programs. Then comes headers, footers and page numbering. They allows you to specify customized headers and footers that the word processor will put at the top and bottom of every page of your document. It automatically keeps track of page numbers so that the correct number appears on each page. Then comes layout which allows you to specify different margins within a single document and to specify various methods for indenting paragraphs. Then comes macros. It is a character or word that represents a series of keystrokes. Keystrokes can represent text as well as commands. The ability to define macros allows you to save yourself a lot of time by replacing common combinations of keystrokes. Then come merges command which allows you to merge text from one file into another file. This is particularly useful for generating many files that have the same format but different data. So generally mailing labels is the classic example of using merges option. Okay, then comes spell checker. It is a utility that allows you to check the spelling of the words in your document. It will highlight any word that it does not recognize or simply that are misspelled. Then comes the table of contents and indexes. They allow you to automatically create a table of contents and index based on special codes that you insert in the document. Then comes thesaurus, a built-in thesaurus that allows you to search for synonyms without leaving the word processor and looking for any dictionary. It is already available within your word processor. Then comes the Windows option which allows you to edit two or more documents at the same time. Each document appears in a separate window. This is particularly valuable when working on a large project that consists of several different files. Then comes the feature what you see is what you get. With what you see is what you get a document appears on the display screen exactly as it will look when you will use the print command. So these are the basic features present on any standard word processor which makes or which facilitates the office work and this is the reason why the written work now is done through the these word processing softwares.
Now let's have a look at some of the examples of the word processing softwares. There are a number of different word processing applications. One of the most widely used is Microsoft Word, which is part of Microsoft Office Suite. Another widely used one is Word Perfect by the Coral Corporation. Then comes the Writer, which is part of Open Office by Apache. While the first two are commercial softwares, Open Office is open source and can be downloaded and used free of charge. Finally, there is a software named as Pages, which is the part of iWork by Apple. Although there are many differences between the various word processing applications, but most importantly, they all accomplish pretty much the same thing or the same tasks. Thank you for watching a video on Edupedia World.